I hope you enjoy it. As you can see, it's a bit windier today than it was the other day when I filmed. I'm not going to film very long. Let's have a look around. Crappy day at the relay site. What exactly is what and where it is on the layout? This here is a bunker. It's just one of our defensive sites. So if anything did happen, we could uh, run into one of these and defend the area without getting shot ourselves. And obviously there's a bit of a Union Jack and a windsock. That's the reason why the windsock's there is for the helicopter. Barbed wire all around the sites. That part there is the POL point. That's, you know, basically our fuel for the generators and lighting and whatnot. Some more fuel there. And as we can pan around to the right, there's another bunker there. And that's one of the vehicles. That's a radio relay installation. And that all this part here is our living accommodation, this tented part. It looks a bit messy on the outside, but believe me, on the inside it's quite nice. That there's our shower, a new one, we made it. Out of a sentry box we found down the hill. That thing on top obviously holds the water. And these are all the antennas. That belongs to the rad deck. And those ones are ours. And there's my vehicle in the distance there. And of course, there's the old beds that we used to have. These two blocks of wood here were for the toilets. A great big container that was going to get flown in, but obviously it hasn't happened yet. I don't think it will. HLS, helicopter landing site is there. That's where the windsock was at. Right, we'll just go and have a look from a different angle. See you in a minute. Bye. Well, I'll give you a rundown of the area, what I'm looking at now. Um, oh, I can't see anything. No, you can't see that. That's it. That's better. In the distance over there, is what we call the Pallio Towers. It's a mountainous region. Pretty cold up there at the moment. If I pan round to the right, this is all the area you can see from where we are. It's quite nice, this countryside. A bit bleak. That hill up there, the highest point you can see at the moment, is a bit of rug. There's a radio relay installation up there in the central. And down in that valley over there is Superlow, that's where Lucy is. As you can see, the ground's very turfed up at the moment because obviously the rain and whatnot and vehicles going up and down resupplying us. And as I turn around to the right, you can see our entrance. That was our gate until it collapsed. Oh, we've got a helicopter coming in. There's a helicopter in the distance. The links. Got a lot of them flying around lately. All our vehicles, and that generator there, you probably can hear it, it looks quite loud. This is what we call a 1624, and that can supply like a few houses really, hooked up to the electric to the house. All this barbed wire all the way around this complex is what we laid ourselves, no one did it for us. There's another bunker in there. I'm going to go up near the, the installations themselves, you might not be able to hear my voice, but I'm just going to show you around and talk anyway, just in case you can. That generator might ball me out. See them? Here's another trench. Quite a nice one, the Royal Engineers dug us. One of their excavators. And that thing making a racket as it usually does. That is uh, one of the engineers' panzers there. The rad deck. And in the background there is my vehicle with Hessian on the front. You're probably not going to hear me because of this generator, so just bear with me. We've got a few more generators there. Back up power just in case that big one goes down. The radio relay carries its own generators as well. Moving on to my vehicle. The generators and everything on the side. This is an SCRA Central. Single channel radio access. Move around to the back. It's my vehicle. Mm -hmm. 
And there's Jinxy digging out the shit pit. Excuse my French, I'll have a zoom in on him. He's thinking about what to do there. Poor lad. Hello! <laughs> Up there on the hill is where our no dome used to be until they moved. I'll see if I can get a better shot of that. You can probably see all the picket fences and the mud turfed up up there. I'll see if I can zoom in, but it gets a bit <coughs> gets a bit wobbly when we get close up to it. Uh, see, you can see the barbed wire fences and all the mud. That's where one of the the portable toilet is still up there. Don't you see it behind the trees up there? That's what was going to get flown over by Chinook. I'm going to zoom in, but it might get better. As far as it'll go, it's got a TCU toilet container unit, I think. Army abbreviates everything. And I'm going to pan round. This is the immediate countryside around me. The sunlight's probably going to get in the camera's lens in a minute. It's getting quite cold up here. At the moment, there we go. That's the panda again from a different angle. This is where our share used to be. I don't know if you remember on the beginning of the film. Oh, can you come over here? We can film a bit of the countryside now, I think.